This is the ultimate book video because we're meeting up with book besties. We're gonna go book shopping and there's gonna be a book haul. There's book reviews and book mail. So make sure you subscribe because there's new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And I hope you guys enjoy. for a little bit i'm reading luca i'm trying to finish like the books that i started i did bring some books with me as you guys probably saw from like my last video where um bane picked my books um but i'm trying to finish the ones that i like started before i came here first and then hop into those because i'm already reading like a few books so those will be the ones that i get to um after i finish these but i feel like my mornings are so like important like i need to like really center myself and relax in the morning so I always like to get up in the morning um and again it's 6 30 my time back home I woke up actually a little bit earlier as you guys know I wake up at 5 a.m usually to read but I didn't really sleep the best last night because I didn't realize that we didn't have the heat on downstairs so it was literally like 64 degrees in the basement which I don't know what 64 celsius is for those of you who don't go by Fahrenheit I'm gonna figure that out though because I feel like um, someone would want to know 64 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius is 17 degrees Celsius so it was cold down there so I didn't figure that out until like halfway through the night I'm like why am I freezing and then I went to like the little um, dial to change the temperature I was like oh the heat's not on um but welcome to this video i'm really excited for this one it's gonna be the ultimate book video we have so much stuff planned um i'm here with my besties and it's gonna be a really fun weekend um i do this trip every single year because i really like to foster like community and friendship with other creators and i feel like we always like talk about work but then we also like really connect because we have like a different job than other people and obviously we're all black women um so we have like a totally different relationship with um this job too so it's just we connect on so many different levels which is really nice um but yeah i pretty much just like ended up talking with the girls last night and that's like all we did all night we talked so late into the night and then um this morning we have a yoga we actually have a whole itinerary i plan this trip every year because i want to connect with other creators and since there aren't any creators in my hometown it makes it kind of like hard to do that almost so um yeah i try to do this trip every year and i invite usually like six or five different girls but today we are going to go to morning yoga and she's coming here at nine which is so nice i love doing yoga here um it just makes it easier so we don't have to like get up and like drive and then we're gonna go to this arts and crafts center at noon that has uh, an ice cream shop and then there's an art gallery there and then there's also a bookstore so 
we have some like really fun stuff planned for today and then tomorrow we have like other stuff planned and for the rest of the week we'll be here for a full week um i also have a package i'm gonna open with you guys so we're gonna have a little book haul with that and then obviously if i end up picking up any books um at the bookstore i'll show you guys those but it's gonna be a fun weekend of friendship books um and just like all the things so i'm just sitting here reading luca i'm gonna get into this a little bit more i haven't really had a bunch of time to like get into this as much as i want to but i'm always on page 200 um i ended up finishing uh cleat cute and i'm gonna give you guys like a little review on that um a little bit later but i finished cleat cute because i started it in the physical book and then i finished it on audiobook um on the way here so i'll give you guys like an update on that whenever i'm downstairs like changing making <sighs> my uh, either before or after yoga. We're going to do a nice stretchy hip opening practice and just get you cozy and ready and enjoy your trip, okay? Go ahead and lie down flat on your backs. Relax. What are you here to do? What are you here to grow in and share in? So let's take a few of these, look out them out. I like to keep my eyes closed when I'm doing these movements and it's really so I can feel. Nice work, ladies. like first full day here and it feels really nice we obviously just got done with yoga which you guys saw and I feel like every time that um, we come on these trips and we do yoga first it's just like the best way to start the day because I feel like it's very slow um, we're having like a brunch right now it's actually almost like lunchtime because we did the yoga first um, but I wanted to introduce you guys to everyone because I feel like you guys definitely know some faces probably know all faces because like all like everyone is from youtube um but this is hey alexis you guys have met alexis before yeah. um she shares like a lot of like self-love yes. like all the good things mm -hmm. for how to like i don't know, have like the best life at least that's how i feel yeah and this is cool and she shares lots of like bookish chats you guys probably have already seen her because we share like you, yeah similar <laughs> content so yeah you guys i know already love her so much and have been just like shipping this whole trip with us definitely and this is lynette Hi. well lynette i feel like does such a good job of sharing like slow living and just how to really like center yourself and ground yourself and i need that all the time because i'm so go 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 which is like such a bad habit of mine so she like really grounds me and like gets me i don't know out of my head yeah i need to be more grounding for myself <laughs> No, you do. You definitely do. And this is Jordan. You guys met Jordan before. Jordan, I feel like, has the best style. Mm -hmm. Like, your Thank outfits you. literally are, like, Pinterest worthy. Yes. And whenever you share, like, pictures or just, like, anything on YouTube, it feels very down to earth, too. Which I feel like sometimes people, if they're sharing, like, outfits, I'm like, is that relatable to me? But you have really good, like, everyday outfits. So. Thank you. This that is the crew. <laughs> So this is who's here this whole week and we're like super excited um, because obviously you guys know that I do like these trips once a year but I really try to like get people together who don't know each other who maybe have not necessarily the exact same content but similar in like vibe so if you're someone who likes books you probably also enjoy like slow living you probably also enjoy like everyday fashion things that are like super easy to wear you probably also like really want to restart your life and like you know follow your dreams and goals and stuff so i feel like everything is kind of interconnected so i will link all of their channels so you guys can go like follow them and stuff and watch their videos and i think everyone is going to have a video from this trip or something um somewhere on some platform so make sure you're hanging out with them because it'll be like really fun to see from different perspectives i just showered and i wanted to give you guys my little review of cleat cute i really thought this book was super cute which is literally uh, the name of the book i finished this yesterday on the way here because i was reading it in the physical form and then obviously on the way i had like a nine hour drive so i wanted to finish it and i think i'll rate this three stars it was a little spicier than i would have like picked like super spicy for me but the overall themes of this book i think were so good and i feel like just the whole time i was reading it it was just like fun uh i always want to preface that like three star three and a half star books are 
not bad books. Like those are good books to me um, and books I would definitely recommend. They just are like, you know, they're like mid, like there's nothing wrong with them. I may or may not remember them like years later, but you know, they're fun like while I read them and that's how this book felt. Um, it's about a girl who she's like trying to make like the soccer team, like national team so she can like actually like be on a, um, like a, what's it called, pro? I don't know like the terms, but she like um, is playing on a soccer team and she ends up getting on like the national team and she's like really excited, but she has a crush on this girl who is like literally famous on the team and she's incredible. And so they kind of start like having like a little bit of banter and the whole book I think is just like really sweet. I also really liked how it had a ADHD rep in this book um, and how she was kind of trying to figure out um, if that was something that she had as like an adult, which I feel like is really hard. Like we don't really talk about that as women or just like in general. So that was really enjoyable to read. I also really liked how it talked about how like every experience as a queer person is different. And obviously I am not like part of that community, but I love learning about just like any community that I'm not a part of because I feel like reading from authors who have either been a part of that community or who've like researched that community, it just gives me like so much, I don't know, like a, a better perspective for like someone's life experience. So I think that that's the cool thing about books is I feel like whether it's fiction, whether it's like nonfiction, I can always learn something from a book, um, any type of book. And I really enjoyed that about this book. I just thought it was really cute. Again, super fluffy, nothing crazy. It was a little spicy for my taste, but overall the story was really cute. Hi, look who's here. Literally, like literally, it's been forever. We've I been know. hiding each other up online for the I longest know. time. And then finally me, I feel like I've known her forever. I know, and it's, it's like really cool when you actually meet someone that you like don't know online, but you like talk to all the time. like. I feel like I've literally known you yeah, for years. Yeah, no, like, really, really. And I was like kind of scared. Well, I was scared to meet everyone because I really felt like the imposter syndrome had me yes. in a chokehold. Literally, I was like, no, I'm not meant to be here. I'm not meant to be here. She I was literally saying. nervous and I invited everybody. Yeah, it's her and then. Yeah. But, but literally, as soon as I met you, I was like, yeah, we're going to be friends. Yeah, literally. <laughs> like, And I feel like you are so like, your personality is the exact same as it is online. I agree. I agree. Is, like, That's why it was so scared, refreshing. I was like, what if it's very like transactional? I yes, was really scared of that. Yes. Like, yeah, everyone's the exact same. Are yeah. you a hugger? Are you okay? I was scared. I was scared too. I was like, wait, I was gonna, that... I want to ask you, right? Can I have one to... oh, oh my god. Okay, good. From now on, you're just getting hugged. Yeah, so I'm a very like physical like, person. Ask. And same. I was like, and some I, people don't. When I met the other girls, I literally shook their hands. <laughs> No, I Government like, oh, handshake. No, yeah, no, no. no cuz I was literally no, I was so in my no, head. Okay. I was so like these bitches don't like me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm like these girls are not going to like me. I don't know why I'm here. But literally as soon as we started talking at the airport, I was like, okay. It literally this is feels space. like family here. Like it I does. feel like the vibe is very like it just feels like a bunch of like sisters hanging out. Like it's been so fun. But I have my Huge stack of books. Insane. We're here I, for a few days. I know. A whole library here. Well, I already finished, so I was telling them downstairs, I finished Cleek Cute, which is like such a cute romance. Like it's a queer read. Like it was really, really fun to read. Finished this. So that's one book out of this entire stack. <laughs> Crazy. Don't ask me. Like we're here. We only are here until Friday. And it is what, Tuesday? Tuesday, like, yeah. Girl. Oh, and I drove, so it's not even like I'm flying that I can read on the right, plane. Like, right, right. Exactly, exactly. I'm like, where are you doing this reading? I know. <laughs> And we're doing stuff all day. We're talking all day. So I'm like, literally, am I behind? No, literally, I'm delusional. Like I have this delusional idea that I'm just gonna like sit and read all day, yeah. and it's like I end up talking. I haven't even read very much today, but same, same. I have um, Luca, which this is one I have been like talking about because I've been reading it for a while. Um, love it. It's oh freaking good. I do hate like when men are on the cover Me too. of books. Like I hate when people are on the cover. I don't know. I don't like that. Yes, yeah, yeah. like cringe. Like yeah, I like I don't like it. But the book is like I saw that it only has like it's a romance. I think it only has like 1,200 um, reviews on Goodreads or something. Like it's still pretty small, mm -hmm. but all the reviews are like, it's so good, really? please read it. Ooh, yeah, so I'm gonna have to add it. I really love this one. Then I picked up Done and Dusted, which is like book talk. You know, everyone's like obsessed with this book. So I was like, I had to see what the hype was about. And you guys know Sister Christie at the bookstore. <laughs> There's this bookstore um, like worker Whenever I go to barn, she's there and she like always mm -hmm. gives these good recs and she was like, you should read this. Yeah, so I have someone up. like that too. Her yes. name's Victoria. Oh, I love that. 
Oh yeah, I think I remember you were yeah, in your yeah. video and she was like giving you all these recs like She's at the so front sweet. counter. Yeah. It's nice to have people like that because yeah. I feel like you don't have to um, try to figure it out on your own. Exactly, yeah, because you don't know everything. You don't know about every single book and they like yes. do this all day so they know more than you. And they're big readers too, so yeah. I feel like they can be like, okay, what do you like? And give you like the perfect yes. book. So she gave me this one. And then Greenwick Park is a um, thriller. It's okay so far, like I'm not super far into it, so I mean I can't really say too much, but it's okay so far. So these are the ones that I've already started, and then I have three, four more that I haven't started yet, but I wanna Crazy. see like what book that you have. You can show them the books that you have. Yes, yeah, so I wanted to surprise her and tell her I'm finally starting this. She has been telling me literally for the like months yes. like to read this, and I just haven't gotten the chance, so I'm like, you know what, on this trip, I am finally gonna read this. It is so good. Like that was a five star read for me. Like really? I sobbed. And you're like very hard on your very reading, hard. So Which like, is like I know it's gonna be good. Yeah, yeah. It's so good. And I think this is also there's some books that I think that are romance that are good for people who like literary fiction and stuff okay, like that. Yeah. Like if you guys aren't following through, which you probably are, but like <laughs> if you're not, if you want someone who's gonna give you like lots of literary fiction, like books that are gonna really make you think, but also gonna be really fun at the same time, like. Literally her recs are so good, but I feel like if you are like looking for a romance and you kind of read more literary fiction That's gonna be like a book really like. so yes. I always go like whenever I need romance. I go to your channel <gasps> I'm dead serious like I'm not even just saying that because we're here like I'm dead serious if I need a romance Then because sometimes like literary fiction. I love it's my favorite genre yes. but And I can tell you're so excited yeah. and like, passionate about yeah. it which makes me excited about it So but like sometimes I feel like Sometimes they're just too heavy. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, okay, I need to kind of decompress. Mm -hmm. Where's my romance? Let me go figure out what Shanti's <laughs> reading. Let me find out what book I need to read. And then you just feel so much better. So I think that balance is really nice mm -hmm. for me. And yeah. like maybe one book every month, I'll read a romance. And that yeah. has been the great balance for me. Yeah, and adding in like the little bit of fluff is like. Yes, nice. exactly. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, sometimes like you get too attached to the characters and then if something yes. happens to them, then you uh, like internalize that. And then that. it's like, I feel like these are my family members. Yes. Like if something happens to them, like I take that on myself. So yeah, I totally get that. Yeah. yeah. Kindle too? Yes, so I also brought my Kindle. I was reading this on the plane because I was scared that like I would ruin my book. <laughs> so, I mean, this is in great condition. Girl, like it was pristine. wrapped. I don't know how you brought this on the plane and it's not like bit up in the yes. corners. Like. I wrapped it in my backpack, so I'm like, ain't nobody touching my book. And then when we were on the plane, like I held my bag. I'm like, don't touch it. Yes, exactly. You wrapped the, the Kalila elbows out. No, really, really. Right to the forehead. I'm not playing. But with my Kindle, I've been reading Harry Potter for the first time. And I am loving it. I finally get the hype. Because like when I was younger, mm -hmm. I don't know why, but like I kind of bypassed that whole yeah. thing. You too? Yeah, same. Yeah. I haven't like read any of it, and I feel like I need someone like you to tell me to read it because oh my gosh, yeah. Part of me is like, do people only like it because it was like at a nostalgic time that they were reading it? But like, yeah. if you're liking it now, yes. it's like, this is really good. Like, I'm not gonna lie, if I started reading Twilight now, mm -hmm. <laughs> it wouldn't stay to the hype. It wouldn't no, stick to the hype. But this, I love Twilight. I know, I know. And like, it has, I have a soft spot for it. Yeah. Because it was the first thing that got me into reading. Same. And it's like so thick. And I'm like, that's my biggest, like, book that I read yeah. at that age. Yeah. yeah. I really thought I was doing something reading 900 pages. Me too. <laughs> Fake people. And I had the path, the poster and everything yes. with like the sparkling yeah. skin. I went to like the premieres and everything. Like, t-shirt. Yeah, I yeah. really thought I was a part of it. So do you feel like if you had read Harry Potter back in the day that you would have also like been in all the, all the I hype? I think so, yeah. Because like I read Hunger Games, I read Percy Jackson, and I loved all yeah. of those. And I think that there, this book and this series is on that caliber. Mm. Yeah. It's seriously How many really read good. So far? I'm on the second one. I'm almost done okay. with the second oh one. Oh my god. Yeah, You're like, very those are good. thick books. I know, but they're so good. I literally started reading them last week and now I'm already in love. Yes. Oh my God. Okay, yeah. now I kind of feel like I'm Yes, like, seriously. And, and I'm not, not even like, like a fantasy girl exactly. or anything. Like that's what you know this it's is good. not my genre whatsoever. That's but I've been crazy. loving it so much. Yeah. <gasps> okay, well <laughs> now well, I feel like I need to add that in yeah, yeah. Let me know. I have four books that I brought. I brought Soul Ties. This is another book. It's by Miss Candace, and it's another book by a black author. You guys know I love diverse reads. Um, but this also, this author doesn't have like a ton of reviews for her book, which like I love finding books by authors where it's like they're kind of like not hyped up yet. I love that you do that. Yeah, and they only have like a few reviews. Yeah. Sometimes I'll read books and I'll be like, Yeah, you get it. They don't have a lot of reviews for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> 
you know, but most of the time it's just like an author who hasn't been like found yet. So mm -hmm. I love that. So I picked this up. This one's kind of similar to that. It's a um, sports romance, but it's like also supposed to have a lot of dialogue. Um, I think that she's the coach and he's like the player. Ooh, I like that. Like that. It's also by a black author. It's called Coaching by Shanor uh, Williams. Then I picked up Higher Love by Alexandria House. So many people have said her books are good. Like, really? Yes. Is this your first book by it's her? It's my first okay. book by her. I've never read anything of hers. This is a new cover. Her old covers have like people on them. Mm -hmm. um, so she like reading the covers, excited for this. Mm -hmm. And then I brought a thriller. Ooh. Yes, you're which, really good at picking thrillers. Thank I've you. read a lot of the ones that you recommend and I really like them. Oh seriously. Oh my god, thank you. Yeah. I picked this up because I read The House Across the Lake and I really enjoyed it, but I did not realize that this is like horror. Oh, and you don't like horror. No. Yeah, so we're gonna see how I feel about this. I don't know. You know my fluffy little heart just like can't take it. Going from like rubbing, like happy to like horror. Right, right, exactly. I don't know. But we're getting ready to leave. I just wanted to like show you the books that we're reading and stuff, and it's just like so cool. It's like feels surreal that like we're actually like hanging I know, out. I know, no, really. And I think like the blessing in that is that it literally feels the exact same way as before. literally. Like it does not feel weird because usually when you first meet people, there's like, like uh, you gotta break like, the ice a little bit. Like, but from the beginning, yes. it was just like normal. literally the first thing I said to her, I was like, oh my god, hi, and then we like hugged, and I was like, okay, like this feels like I <laughs> like have already hung out with you in person. Exactly, so. which yeah. is so cool. Cool. It is. You're not gonna be able to get rid of me. I know, same. <laughs> like, we're gonna hang out next month. Exactly, no, literally. <laughs> Guys, we just got to the bookstore and it's so cute. They have a whole section that has like kids books and the guy is so nice. He's literally giving, like, I mean, we just walked in and talked to him for like a second. He's literally giving like grandpa vibes. They have all these. Guys, look, look at these books. They have Mother Teresa, Kamala Harris, Rosa Parks, Martin Luther King Jr., Aretha Franklin, Elvis Presley, and Frank. These are so cute. Oh my gosh. And if you go around the corner, they have more kids' books over here. A Clifford book. Oh my gosh. I have to get this for Brady's. Um, or Brady and my nephew, like he would love that. They have so many kids books. And then they have books over here, more, these are more like young adults, this is older kids. Lots of stuff here. Oh my gosh. This kind of stuff just makes me so happy just being in places that are like so cozy like this. And they have a fake fireplace over here too. Okay, if you're looking for a book, Kalila's your girl. She, like Jordan, you were like, I don't even know where to look. Like literally, I feel like, like you. Her yeah, it's like which yeah. which book does she touch? Right. Whatever you touch, that's what I'm bringing I'm home. I'm about to read this one. I've heard so many good things. Me too. Yeah. Did you like normal people? Did you read it? No, I read it. I, I did not like it. it. Oh, no. I read it. Well, I actually liked it. I actually liked normal people. But it's because I was in a situationship yeah. and I was like, I I can read it. Oh no, I feel that. Yeah, I think I didn't like how she didn't have like periods and stuff in the um book so it was just like oh like the punctuation yeah the punctuation stuff, yeah, like, yeah the writing style was yeah. yeah and then i think the other thing that i didn't like was and maybe it's because i'm a romance girl but like i want a happy ending yeah, yeah. and i feel like i mean the ending was like a little too realistic yeah. for me so i just was like i'm sad yeah. Yeah. see i don't yeah. mind like not having a happy ending i just didn't like their story i felt like yeah. there wasn't a point like sometimes i need no a, i agree yeah I agree. like mm. it doesn't have to be a super strict plot but like i i need something that i can tether myself to like yeah. understand something by the yes. end of the book it was like, very like, they were very yeah. unlikable i felt like i do very think unlikable. if i watch the show maybe i would like it more i, I like heard there was yeah. a show yeah, yeah. you, you definitely should watch yeah. the show Wait, you like the show i like that yeah it kind of has that same feel where there's not really a plot but you kind of get like more emotion yes i feel like that's almost more interesting from a show. Than mm -hmm. a I agree. I agree. Yeah. Like that kind of storyline, I feel like it needs to be a show. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I totally agree. Guys, I feel like this is a hit or miss for everyone. Like it wasn't my thing, but it could be somebody else's thing. And that's like the beauty of books.
I really didn't want to pay that sixty dollars. And then, like, when I was going through the airport, I was telling myself, "You should pay the goddamn sixty dollars." <laughs> because I'm like carrying it around trying to get to my plane. Oh my god. god. That's so funny. And now you can't bring okay. anything back. Yeah, Wait, so you can use those parts in there? No, I wore them. Oh, okay, okay. Looks like they're gonna have similar tapes. Okay, is there a book? I think they just feel like it's just like yes. Okay, it's Eleanor Oliphant. It's completely fine. They might actually have it in here. I wonder if they have that here. They might have it in here. Oh my god, they have it. They have it. No, really? They have it. Yes, that was my favorite. Yeah, this is the book. Yeah. I'm gonna read it then. Okay, okay. Tell me what you think genuinely. I will. Is it here? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah. It's okay if you don't like it, but tell me like yeah. what you thought about it. Yeah, yeah but I feel yeah. like we have similar vibes. Yeah, I think you do. Like, I think I think you'll like it because I read it and I'm like I can totally understand why yeah. this is like your favorite yeah. because I feel like she, her story is like obviously hard, yeah. but by the end I it felt like really realistic. Mm -hmm. And not only that, like I feel like she talked about so many hard topics, but mm -hmm. not in a little life way. Like, yes, it was a very like. Digestive and she's way. so quirky and, and yes, stuff too. Like, like, and she makes you laugh while talking about these mm -hmm. really hard topics. Yeah. And you learn something from it after. Yeah. So you like tragic books? Yeah. I don't. You I don't, don't, yeah. I don't, I don't, don't like even like. Did you read You're like, so you like hard books. You said you I, I, I love that book. book. I love that book. It's sad. It is sad. You guys like similar books, I feel like. But I like taking something from a book and like being able to apply it to my life or just understand the world differently from yeah. reading something. Is that, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Like I, I feel like I'll look at people and understand them better. Yes. And after, after reading book, mm -hmm. you yes. will. Well, I feel like as I was reading it, I was like, ooh, she's a little weird. Like, yeah. by the end of it, I was like, yeah. Okay, I need to be like nicer, yeah. like more accepting yeah. people who yeah. are different. Like yeah. it just gives you a really exactly. good outlook. I agree. Yeah. Exactly. When I read okay. books like that where there's a really weird character, I'm like, oh, that's me. Yeah. Yes. 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 But then I, I assume that that's how people perceive me. Yeah. Yes. And I'm like, yes. I probably, I don't know, it's just like a weird thing. Yeah. 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 And You're gonna like it. Yeah. I think you'll I like think it. You really will. Like that's if you like that kind of stuff, and I feel like we do have. Yeah. You guys have very similar. Excited to see because like I recommended the way I recommend Love and Other Words. Like yes. That's how much I love that. And yeah. I'm not even a romance girl, and I was like, all right. Me Honestly, yes. he's talking <laughs> about this book that we're reading. Literally, I'm not a romance girl, but that book yeah. has my heart. There's like, so, it that. feels so, like, just, like, nostalgic. Like, I feel like that Love in Other Words reminds me of, like, when you first fall in love, mm -hmm. and you, like, you know, first get those feelings, and you're like, oh, my right. God. <laughs> I just, I yeah, love that. Yeah. I love that. So I agree with so that. Yeah. Yeah. It's so it's good. It's a very good book. Have you read it? No, I've heard that this book is um, yes, narrated yes. by Meryl Streep was, on yeah. Audible. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm like, I kind of want to listen to it versus like no, physically read it. Like a classic type no, book? No, it just came out. Oh, okay. It just kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, it literally looks like a classic. I've heard that this book is really good too. It's more about like... There's so many good books in here. Oh my gosh. I was like, oh wait, I can really help myself. Yeah. And you like realize that like, you know how we like to play when you have like a part of your life. It's always like how many times are written for me. Yes, I haven't read it. I'm like, we are on parent. I haven't heard it so good. Do you have it already? I have it. So I need to read it by I saw that. I saw that. You gave it to the free library. Yes, yeah. Like a lot of people do it for me. Like now I own it ourselves. Yeah, I have like this now. Okay. And it's like books that you know you're going to like. So you just feel like you're playing in your library. I feel like I bought a lot of books from like when I first got back into reading from TikTok. Yes. Like people talking about it. They were good. No, like addicted to you. Like buy a thread. Yes, girl. Don't give me some. I haven't read that book yet. I haven't read it. No, I'm not going to give it. Yeah, yeah, I saw you give it. Yeah, yeah. I saw you give it. It was so good. Yeah, yeah. Especially because you're a romance. I know you'll feel the same way. Because, like, you know what you like, but I need a real romance. Like, it's spice to me. It's like, that's an addition. Not based on what I'm saying. Like, it's not like writing more than the story. Not be the story. And that's exactly how that book was. I was like, and it is so long. And that was in my first. Everyone was talking about spirituality. When you kind of like, um, try out spring season. And then I'm going to go to the Yeah, I'm going to go to the Yes, okay. Oh, I've actually heard of those books. Yeah, they're flawless. So I'm like, oh, it's going to be a good one. By Alan Watts. Is it like all the way back to the Yeah, yeah. It's like a very, like, I need to look at her. I love the duck. Like, you're a duck. Like, 
think about spirituality. The dialogue is what gets me like, it, but that's why like, I, I don't really like romance. I like kind of romance. Exactly. Yeah, like the Exactly, because like, it's the dialogue has to be there. It has to be realistic. Because when they say stuff like that, I'm just like, okay. Yeah, like, would you ever say that in real life? Has anyone ever said that to me in real life? It's a guy that It's scary. No, it's scary. I'm calling Jonas. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I really yeah. love, I read that book. So yeah, and I, it, it was a five star. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so good. Yeah. 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 I heard he has a, um, which I think is yeah. another book. Yeah. Yeah. Like, 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 one. Yes. You say you went yeah, all in yeah, the yeah, I think one. so. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna direct one. I I could. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me. You. Have you seen this cover? Trying to think. Have you read anything from Emily Henry? Yeah. You didn't like her books, right? Yeah. I've read a few of them. Okay. You didn't like it. Okay. Because I think like your taste. It's hard to figure out. It's only two years. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. Of course. Okay. Yeah. Favorite. Okay, I have not read this one, but I have heard that this yeah. one is good. I've, I've heard this is good it. too. I read. Um, oh, yeah. This is what we're talking about. I know. Um, I, was like, I, I haven't know. read High School Musical and Fairly um, Cute, yeah. but yeah. I read I Mary Ann Smith by her, and like <laughs> it was really good. It was a Christmas book, which I was like, yeah, actually. I agree with that. Yeah. Um. I don't know. There's so many. Yes, I've read this. I haven't you know, read this. I like this one. Didn't like this one. I didn't like either. I, 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 I think when I first read it, I thought it was good. And now that I've been yeah. reading more, I'm like, yes. I think I read it three and a half or something. Yeah. Like, it was good. It was yeah. like, like when I but not like super like, memorable. Like, 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 exactly. Have right. you read anything by this one? Who was that? No, Amanda Monaghan. I wish the same time next summer by the same author. I want to try doing it. Is that good? I don't. I would imagine it could. Like, we would have rated four or five stars. Yeah, I think that. So this is a romance. But I feel like her books yeah, are yeah, more like right. literary fiction mm-hmm. type. Um, but it's like the other book that I'm thinking of, same time. Uh, yeah, next I'm like, she's like about, she's like, yeah, yeah. about yeah. to get married to this guy, mm-hmm. doesn't know if she was like, married or not, <laughs> and then she ends up going to her hometown. And while she's there, she's, there, there, she's like, oh, my ex boyfriend is here. And while she's there, she's like trying to, she has this push and pull with like, should I be this person who's more like together, has her life together, or should I be more free and carefree, like, you know, my family is? But they don't have it. But this is the same author. This book was good, but the other one I think was even better. Better. And this is the one that like popped off and got popular. Yeah, and you know what's so think, funny? I find it interesting right? that like yeah. Yeah. there's certain books by Christina Lauren that I'm like, are yeah, okay. Yeah. But like this is my standard. Yes. Like they popped yes. off. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I like this one, but it was like yeah. three stars. Yeah. 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 But I think a lot of people didn't like this one because they're comparing to this one. That's exactly like nothing compared. Yes, yes. Literally, love another words. So good. Oh my god. Like, literally that was like, and I don't even read romance, but this book yeah, I was yeah. like, I just, yeah, I feel like, yeah, yeah, this is it. And I read it in a day. Like I yeah, couldn't even do you know, thrillers. Yeah. I do read thrillers, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to like, get into thrillers more. Okay. Like usually yeah, I don't, but like yeah, now I'm starting change. to really find out what I like. Yeah. And I really like yeah. thrillers yeah. now. So After the silent piece, I think that's what it's all about. Yeah, you could. And I'm like, okay, now you need another one. I need to be my No, but I hear you talking about it all the time. I know. Yeah, you and Alex. You guys know Alex. And what's, y'all calling her what? Sister Sister Freeze? Freeze? Yes, yes. And I was like, okay, now I need to books are so good. I think they actually have one of hers. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. her best one. Right in that one. Her track. best one is Never Lie. Never Lie. I don't have that one here, but you literally you will finish that in like a day. Really? Like silent patient level? Like I think it's better. Better than silent. Okay. Okay. Better than. It's like. Um, so like, I'll show you. Um, maybe they can go over here. Okay. I can show them her book. The book. I have to like hold on to them because I feel like if I'm saying the author, if someone's like new to reading, they might not know what I'm talking about. This is the author who we're talking about. This is the second book. Um, but never lie by this author. <laughs> is so good. Like literally, I. So one of my friends, she was like, I'm not a big reader, and I was like, uh, pretty much I was asking her like, well, what do you want to do for fun? She was like, oh, I listen to like uh, true crime podcast. Uh, I was like, I know you're a reader. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> so I recommended Never Lie. She read it, and then oh, everyone yeah. in my gym read no, it. <gasps> really? All ten of them. That's and they're not it. readers. That's like, how you none know of them good. read, and they all read it within three oh, days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Yes. Really? That is that good? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna add that to my list. 
Yeah, yeah. so yeah. Never Lie by this author. Yeah. And this is the so one that like popped off, The Housemaid, which yeah. there's nothing yeah. wrong with it, like it's good. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I think that I read Never yeah. Lie first, yeah. and then I read this one second. So it didn't compare. So it didn't compare, yeah. 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 Um, but it's still like a really, yeah. really great author. Everything yeah. that she writes is good. And she actually has a new book coming out, I think, like this Ooh, one. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. She just picked my book. Yes. Oh, yes. I picked Big Lies for her. Very I think that she's really gonna like it. I still recommend this book like years and years later and I read it in like 2019, I think, or 2020. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, now, but so I asked her if I would like yellow face because she loved it so much and she was very honest. She was like, I don't know if that's like for you, but I would trust it. And I appreciate that. Yeah. So whatever you think that I would like, I trust your judgment. Okay, I'm stressed. Now I get why you were stressed. I know, because it's like, it's a lot of pressure. It really is. Let me see. And then like every romance I read, I know you've read. Yes, yes. Amazing. And you said literary fiction is okay. Yeah, whatever, okay. whatever you think. Like okay. I, you, I feel like you know my taste. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna trust your judgment. Yeah, there's a lot of good actresses in there. Yes. They killed it with a cast. Did you like right? normal people? And then I did not. Oh, okay. I did I not. Like, you were like, huh? Yeah, I was like, well, <laughs> you like? Like I'm confused. No, I did not like normal okay, people. Okay, good, good. She lives in New York with her husband, mm -hmm. and like it's, it's kind, of, it's very similar. Okay, okay. So I recommend that. But I'm about it. Yeah. Yeah. I will watch that. See. Yeah. 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 I'll just look up and I've heard really good I'm always looking for new I have too. Yeah. You haven't read it yet? Either. I haven't read it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I also <laughs> never read Black Cake either, yeah, so. Right. Like, Black Cake, I, wait, let me think. Me too. Like, I, or I get over So I or it's not enjoyable. loved yeah, it. I think you will love it because they're complicated, like, like you characters. Think? You think? Yeah. Okay. And like, genuinely, yeah. that story is so, like, profound. Like, I don't think you would expect. So, like, all the things that they go through. And, like, the characters that would too. And that's, like, I think that's your thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, I think black cake. Okay, yeah. all right, trust your judgment. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> black cake. <laughs> I'm excited. You have to tell me immediately. Yes, yeah. yeah. okay. And be honest. Like, I will. Tell me, and if you don't like it, why? I will. Yeah, I will. And I'm excited because yeah. I do feel like I wanted to read this because it is a TV show now. So, yeah. 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 I've heard it's so good. Me too. But I have to like read the book before I. Yeah, same. I'm the same That's why I haven't um watched less of the chemistry. So like I gotta read it first. Okay. Yeah. You still haven't read it. No. Yeah. Good. I'm so glad it's not just me. Yeah. I was like, dang, it's been a minute. I know. That book has been out. I know. We gotta move. Yeah. Last night, do you like your accommodation? Yeah. Guys, I think that was the nicest human I've ever interacted with in my entire life. Like, he was so nice. Okay, we're gonna try the chicken pot pie and see how it tastes. Are we trying it with the, um, the, like, I'm trying breading? to pastry, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pastry, thank you. Okay, ready? You like mushrooms mushrooms up in there. Okay, yeah. Mm. That looks good. I just wanted to scoop easy. Okay. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> it's oh, very good. I like it. I like it. I think it's good, but I like I harder, use a little but more seasoning. Mm. Too. I like the pot pie. Like proper pie. Yeah. <laughs> Like, like it's not bad. No, right. <laughs> but like, it's gonna get soft. Yeah, yeah, I do like the hard crust. Yeah, like right. the softness. Like, yeah. They probably got salt and pepper yeah, in there, but it's, it's this is like. But the apple is good. Okay, there's, okay. Like, there's, um, <laughs> there's a frozen one you can buy at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. And those are new to Marie Calendars. Yeah. Marie Calendars? Or something else. I don't even know what it is. Like the crust it's good. It's This? This is good. So good. Nachos, Ooh. they're so good. That's so good. good. Yeah, but I don't think every oh, single one has meat on okay. it. Okay. Yeah, some of them have like um, <laughs> just like cheese and jalapeno. You've seen a pot pie like this? No, neither have I. Yeah. Oh, like uh, yeah. Like the texture is a big oh. thing. Either do we're gonna explore before the escaper? Um, yeah. Nice. Okay. 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 Cool. Trying to get something in my stomach. Good morning, guys. I uh. Did you have me yet? Mm mm. Okay. I literally just came up from downstairs. You said what? I just came up from downstairs for the first time. Did you sleep in? No. Oh. <laughs> My um manager, she was like, hey, we need to fight in a day. And I was like, I know if I don't do it before we leave, it's yeah. not getting done by five. So I was like, I gotta finish that. Speak, so. I feel good now, though. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. yeah. So you can relax. Yep. Is that end of day email? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. <laughs> I gotta do it right now in the morning. Oh, good morning, guys. We're uh, getting ready to go to like walk around down um, in like the main area, which is where we usually go. 
Yesterday was nice, we went to like the art district. Sorry, I'm literally talking with so much food in my mouth, but I'm so hungry, it's like 11.30. Okay. I was just telling them how I've literally just come up from air, for air because I was editing some stuff downstairs. Um, and I knew if I didn't do it in the morning, it was not gonna get done because we probably won't be back by five. Uh, and my manager needed it by the end of the day. So I was like, let me finish it. it took so much longer than I thought. Um, but then now, getting ready to go downstairs um, or go to the downtown area. And um, I have a book haul that I still wanna show you guys from what I got um, last night at the bookstore. The bookstore owner was so nice. Literally one of the nicest owners I think of any bookstore that I've like ever talked to. He was incredible. So um, I kind of hope we can go back there, but we'll see. He was like, you should come back when my wife is here. I don't know if we're going to or not because we have so much stuff that we still want to do. Today, um, we're going to go to an escape room and then we'll, like walk around, maybe like get on some rides and stuff down, to, down there. I feel like Gatlinburg is literally like um, the Vegas for families because there's like so many rides, like... There's so much fun stuff to do. I've never been to Gatlinburg. Literally, you have to go. I go every single year, or come every single year, and it's like so fun. Um, I'm thinking, should I show you guys a book haul today? Maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll wait till I get back home tonight. Um, or show you tomorrow, I'm not really sure. But it's gonna be a fun day. Um, I'm so hungry, so I'm literally shoveling this. I uh, started reading um, Dear Black Girls by Asia Wilson. It is really good so far. You know, I told you guys that I want to read more like memoirs and like self-help books and like nonfiction and like different genres this year. And so this will be my first of the year, but I think it's pretty good because it's February. I'm starting with my first one, so I'm excited, but it's really good so far. She tells a story about how um, she, uh, what's it called? She, what was the story? Okay, <laughs> my mine is literally blanking. He told the story of how she was invited to go to a birthday party and a sleepover, like at her friend's house. And her friend was like, "You have to sleep outside because, like, or you, if you come, you will like have to sleep outside because my dad doesn't like black people." So I was like, "It's literally wild." But I really am enjoying it so far. She also talks a lot about how she wasn't a good basketball player. Um, if you don't know, she's like an Olympic gold medalist, like WNBA player, and she um, literally was not good at basketball. So I think that that's really encouraging because sometimes we cannot be good at something and we can count ourselves out and be like, oh, like that's not for me, like I'm not good at that. Um, and obviously she is like incredible, she's in the WNBA, but also she wrote a book and she's dyslexic and she talks about how her teachers were so like, some of them were nice, but a lot of them like were not because she was dyslexic and they never would have believed that she like wrote a book. It literally feels like it's a journal entry. So it is a good like intro into like memoirs if you're, wanting to like uh, read something that doesn't feel like a memoir. It just came out and it like looks really good. So um, anyway, uh, we're getting ready to head out and I'll probably give you a little book call when I go home. Mm -mm -mm. It's making it so good. Jordan's driving and I'm so excited because I can sit in the back. <laughs> Sitting in the back is like some of the best vibes I feel like. That book though really like it just was so good to me and like like you said like I usually don't annotate books but that mm -hmm. one I was just writing notes down I'm like oh I need to remember this I need to go back here I like would put like the sticky notes there too because it was just so. See now you're making so me want to read memoirs. Yes. We're talking about reading uh, Educated by the way guys. Yes Educated and uh, Crying at H Mart. What is uh, Crying at H Mart about? So it's a Korean American. Um, her mom passed away from cancer Okay. and she had to like take care of her and it's like showing the ugly sides of grief and like sickness mm. and disease and like they didn't always have like a good relationship mm -hmm. too and it's them understanding each other them loving each other and accepting each other but mm. like at the worst time because her mom then passes away and it's right. like i just got my mom to understand me and now and now I she's gone yeah, like, wow I don't live with that yeah, and like their love language or her mom's love language with her mm -hmm. was food and they were Korean. So like Aww. she just like describes the food so well and like even if you don't know that food directly, it's not like their mm -hmm. culture, it's just something that you can connect with and like understand and like appreciate the love that they had for each other. It's just so I good. I love that you get so excited about books. So like good. It's so good. I highly recommend people that you like already knew of before, like you no. knew of them. Okay, no, you just no. like you read their stories and that's really cool. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, and it's it's just like 
I think that's why books are so cool because like you can go in thinking one thing, thinking mm -hmm. you have the world figured out, and by the end of this book, you're just thinking and so you see from a different perspective, yes, and you're like, like oh my god, crazy! So you can constantly learn, like constantly evolve. Even if you think this is the best you've ever been, like mm -hmm. by the end of a book, now you're different again. Yeah, like, I know, and I just love that. Well, I, I was, really love that. When I yeah. uh, was reading or am reading Dear Black Girls, as I was reading it, I was like, I had no idea that she was bad at basketball. She's literally in the WNBA. Yeah. Like, she was very bad at basketball. I'm like. That's insane, but I think it's inspiring because it's like, okay, you don't have to, I feel like whenever I read stuff about people who are like, you know, Olympic medalists or whatever, it's like, okay, they probably started at a young age. She started playing basketball at 13. What? Wow. Yes, I'm like 13. Oh, I like that. I yeah, love so it's like you can start later, like it doesn't have to be like super young, like you can change your mind about stuff and she's dyslexic, obviously, she just wrote a book. So like that kind of stuff I think is so inspiring. I love really that, inspiring. yeah. Yeah. Because as the reader, it just gives you a chance to see like, okay, you don't have to be perfect from the gate mm -hmm. and just think that that's the only way you can succeed. Like, mm -hmm. no, you can grow oh and evolve God. and that's okay too. Small though, we're trying the peach cobbler wine first. That kind of tastes like peach cobbler. That kind of tastes like the juice that was in the uh, apples yesterday. Yes, it does. Oh, yes, it yeah. Does. That was good. Yeah, I like this a lot. It's and like I got very, the huckleberry too. Yeah, you like Jordan. This is blackberry. Blackberry. Oh, I got blackberry. What do you say? Sorry to Shaughnessy's camera. Hold on, I gotta. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, what is that? There's the 40 proof. Yeah. That's why I don't know why you're sipping that one. This is the, gonna be the one that's gonna get you. Oh, yeah. oh. Is the uh, moonshine uh, 40 proof or no? Uh, they're more. Oh. oh. Yeah, some of them are like 120 proof. Girl. Jeez. This is 40 yeah. proof? I mean, it's good, but it just shocked me when I took that little sip. Yeah, because yeah. I didn't like, like all the other ones yeah. were like juice. Mm -hmm. This one, and then I was like, like that's not yeah. juice. <laughs> Wait, I have to take this picture. This is funny. <laughs> <laughs> that is cute. It's a cream wine. Cheers. Mm. That's good. Mm. I, I like the aftertaste of that. It's like saying butter. I'm like, yeah. butter pecan. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. actually so cute. <laughs> Georgia. <laughs> you know from Alabama, right? Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm Georgia. Georgia. I'm like, you say like, I think I said that twice. Too. Said I literally said that last time too, I and did. you didn't correct me. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So this is where we came for the wine. <laughs> Literally five dollars. I ended up getting like three bottles because they're gonna hold it um, until we're like done walking around. No, no, There's so many now. places to walk. All right, we're getting ready to start the uh, moonshine tasting. Yeah, I'm a little scared. It's already like we're starting to feel the temperature. Yeah, like yeah, that was a lot of wine. And I, you guys know, like I don't really drink for real. Like I say, I'm sober. It's like I'll drink sometimes, and then I'll just like not drink when I don't feel like it. It's so I just do the deep end. Yeah, no, like I'm going from moonshine? like yeah, no, what are we doing here? And the guy, the girl yeah. at the wine tasting place, she was like, uh, the moonshine people are even faster. Yeah. Like they like just I'm give you one, give another. I will say though, they have a lot of options here. You can't really see because everybody's like phones and stuff. But they have. Um, <gasps> oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. They have so many different options though. This is like sour blue raspberry, um, like all different kinds. So I'm hoping that some of these I actually enjoy. I did end up after the last time we did the moonshine no, tasting, I did end up bringing like two or three home. Cause they're that you good. Really? Yes, they're really good. Like not all of them, but like yeah, some like, are actually really I'm good. So I just I don't like expect like, them to be good. I'm like scared. No, when you drink like, it, you're gonna be like, oh, like some of them do taste good. They're, like, I'm excited sweet. now. Yeah, but then some of them are a little bit disgusting. Yeah, I can tell. So it's like, no, that's scary. I know, yeah, that is scary. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's out of the way. That's okay. the only rule I have to let y'all know. Don't share. Other than that, I really don't care what you do. Uh, just smile and have fun. That's okay. It. I can do that. Alexa, are you ready for this? I'm scared. I'm scared. Honestly, though. Okay, go ahead. This is the strongest one. Y'all can do this. Y'all already did it. Y'all 
Oh, this tastes, like from like, this tastes like Everclear from college. Like I kid you not. This tastes like Everclear. This tastes like This tastes like Everclear. Nar. This tastes like Everclear. Oh, this is okay. I can't handle. I got that. I got that. Sour blue raspberries. This is our ready to use one. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh my god, that's, that's good. That's juice, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's very sweet. I like that. Yeah, very sweet. I like that. It's kind of giving UV, UV blue, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come all you young rounders And a story I'll tell Of the promise of heaven In the warning of hell Take heed where you ramble but Too soon you will go Way up on Yes, you were great. You were incredible. Thank you so much. <laughs> I just got done with the moonshine tasting, and I feel like um, so nice. woo. I feel great. I feel great. Like this yeah. is, and the weather is nice. Like, yeah, it seems like a little like snack. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, something to yeah, yeah, something to munch on. But yeah. you talking like a trooper though. Like we got some halves, and you like were going full pool. sin. You I was like, pool. okay. I missed the wine tasting. That is so true. I gotta, I gotta catch up. <laughs> Honestly, I wish that I could like, I was telling um, Kalila and Alexis, I was like, I used to be like a pusher. I'd be like, we're gonna drink, we're gonna drink. No, and I'm getting older, that's but I, why. But I kind of miss that. Like, no, I, every time the sun comes out, I'm like, okay, let's go get drinks. Let's like, go. Yeah. No, oh. I can't, I cannot handle things the same way. Same, Like same. my stomach, I definitely <laughs> feel it. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. Are you a fast walker? I am, yeah. All my friends are like, you walk way yes, too fast. Yes, people say the same like, thing to me too. I know, I'm like, I'm so sorry. I know, I can't even, I'm not even, vision. yeah, I'm not even trying to, I'm just walking. Yeah, okay, this is us. Oh, yay! We just got to the escape room. We're getting ready to go play. I'm really excited. We did this last year and it was so fun. I was so scared. A little bit, yeah. Getting through the uh, escape, escape room, room. we <laughs> lost. <laughs> we were literally so close. We though. were so close. I thought that we would definitely win. I thought so too. But we didn't. But it's yeah, okay. It's yeah. okay. It's okay. They yeah, had like coordinates and stuff in there, so like that's what got me. Yeah, I think it was that's the coordinates. Yeah. That that's what was. Yeah. Oh my God, they have a ride. <gasps> oh, that's fun. Guys, Should look at this. That'd be cool. It goes all the way up the mountain. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> this will be fun. We're getting ready to go get uh, Mexican food and then we're gonna go um, around the town like a little bit more. It's such a cute little like area. I could walk around here for hours. Halila, you started before I let go this morning and guys, I cannot get over how good that book is. I cannot wait until you really get into I'm it. So, I'm gonna tell you immediately, as soon as I start feeling emotions, I'm gonna be texting your You're calling. You're like, going to sob. Yeah. Like that is a book so, that will make you sob. I'm scared, like, but like I'm excited. Yeah, it's yeah. so good and like, Oh, I anytime I think about it, I'm just like, <gasps> really? Like all the feels, yes. oh, I'm excited. Like, I'm I want to reread that one before the new really? one comes out. Like yes. that good? Okay, yes. now I know. Yeah, I know, yeah it was like, five stars. Committed. Like, yeah, really? it's so good. She's so hard at like grading too. So I'm like, yes. I know this is gonna be good. I literally no, have yeah. probably like five or six five star books. That's that it. Crazy. Out of all the books that I've read in my entire life, That's yeah, crazy. that book is so like, good. Like for me, as soon as I have a feeling, I'm like five stars. Five stars. I'm like, right, right. This is so good. There's like no metric. There's no reason. If I feel good, you're like five stars. Yeah, literally. Honestly, I love that though. Like I love that. I put the off. This food looks so good. It just came to the table and. I've already eaten like all the queso. I'm about to get more queso. <laughs> this looks so good. You got the shrimp tacos, beef tacos, beef tacos. What'd you get, um, Lynette? Chicken quesadilla. Oh my god, that looks so good. <laughs> getting ready to go into this earthquake ride. We went on this last year and it was so fun, so we're gonna do it again. Okay. I didn't know I remember it being 
that crazy? Was, that was way more crazy than I remember. Yes, I, I feel like, like we weren't even like on the ground no, most of the time. Like, like you were off the floor. <laughs> like, what? Like, what was was I did not expect that. That at was all. so fun. Because you guys were like, it's not even gonna move that much. I know. Uh, I feel like it didn't. Did you scream at all? I was just like, whoa. <laughs> right, right. I was just surprised. Did you scream with that? No, I didn't. It was surprising though. Yeah. Like, he was like, it's not bad. We're barely gonna move, and I'm like, yeah. why are we doing? <laughs> 1 a.m. and I ain't tired. I can stand right here and talk all night if you want. I ain't got no place to be, no one's waiting for me. I won't lie, I'm into you. Got like a million ideas what we could do. Cause I'm not gonna let you slip away, I won't waste this. There's something about the way you fix your eyes on me. I can't help myself from fall in love, I go crazy. What you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? Uh, uh, uh. When you give me that smile, I think my heart's turned up the pace. I don't care about what we do if I get to be with you. Uh, uh, uh. What you wanna do now? Wants to be afraid of when we're young, stupid, and in love. I wanna show you guys the books that I got from the bookstore. These were from the Next Chapter bookshop. The bookstore owner was so sweet. Literally the nicest bookstore owner that I think I've ever met like he was like will you come back tomorrow like i want you to meet my wife and we were like we're not sure if we're gonna have time but like he was just so so sweet and while we were in the bookstore we were just like laughing and we ended up staying like a little bit later past the time and i was like i'm so sorry like it's taking us so long and he was like no it's fine like i love hearing the bookish chats and like while we were talking about books because we were getting so excited about books he was like over like on his little um desk just kind of like giggling and like it was just so freaking sweet he's a very very kind book owner you can tell that he or bookstore owner and you could tell that he really enjoys like what he does so i ended up getting some books from there and i ended up getting books for um my niece and nephew that's on brady's side it's brady's sisters um and if you guys are new that's my husband it's his sister's kids and i ended up getting the mitten and this is a ukrainian folktale it looks really cute the inside has like these i don't know just super cute pictures and it just like gives all the happy feels and then i got ellis for love and this looks just like I don't know it looks so happy i think the inside the illustrations just make me happy and this literally says like j is for jewelry and this says i is for initials and they just go through the whole alphabet and every page has like the best illustrations so i really like that and then the last one that i picked up was clifford the big red dog and this is literally the classic clifford book <laughs> like with emily elizabeth and like i think i actually read this book as a kid and i feel like getting board books for kids is better than getting like um other books for kids i don't know i just feel like these are more durable like if they throw them around and stuff like they're not gonna like uh mess up the pages or anything and then i ended up getting a book that i actually gave away in uh for the library but i ended up bringing it back for myself by buying it and i picked up black cake because kalila loves this book and it actually is a show now and i want to watch the show and i d definitely am not going to watch the show unless i read the book first so i'm really excited to read this and this is one of her favorite books i think she rated this one five stars and you guys know i've been wanting to read more books that are outside of like thrill and romance not a ton because you guys know that that's like where i hang out but i do want to add in like maybe one each month like so by the end of the year i'll have like 12 um books that i've read they're like outside of my genre whether that's like fantasy or nonfiction, memoirs or contemporary fiction something like that like i want to try to add in but don't hold me to that because i am a big mood reader like i only want to read books that i actually genuinely am excited to read so i definitely want to um add this in mostly because i want to watch the tv show because i've heard great things about it and then the last book that i got for myself um, which is my typical genre that I'm obsessed with is A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. This book looks so good. This was her debut book, but I think she's written a ton more since then. And this is highly, highly, highly acclaimed. Um, so many people said that this is a really good thriller. I also love how this is like so floppy. When thrillers like, are like this, I feel like I just want to take them with me everywhere. And this says, when Chloe was 12, six teenage girls went missing in her small Louisiana town. By the end of the summer, her own father had confessed to the crimes and was put away for life, leaving Chloe and the rest of her family to grapple with the truth and try to move forward while dealing with the aftermath. And now 20 years later, Chloe is a psychologist in Baton Rouge and getting ready for her wedding. While she finally has a fragile grasp on the happiness she's worked so hard to achieve, she sometimes feels as out of control of her own life as the troubled teens 
who are her patients. So when a local teen girl goes missing and then another, that terrifying summer comes crashing back, is she paranoid? Or is she paranoid seeing parallels from her past that aren't actually there? Or for the second time in her life, is Chloe about to unmask a killer? This is just like such a good um, synopsis of this book and it looks so good. It says it's a eerily compelling story to the very last page. And I love books like that. That'll just kind of keep me on the edge of my seat. So these are all the books that I um, picked up. I picked up two for myself and then I have the three for my niece and nephew. But I also have another book haul. Um, I have a package that I brought with me because I wanted to open with you guys on camera. So I think I'll open that up tomorrow, but it's a book I've been really excited about. Um, it came in and I honestly don't know how I haven't opened it yet, but I've wanted to open it with you guys and I haven't really had time. Like I stepped outside cause like everyone's like talking inside. Um, and I stepped outside so I could like give you guys this haul cause I was like, oh, I wanted to do it last night and I didn't. So I'm going to do it now, but we've just been having the best time and I was just saying to the group I was like how do we only have one more full day left like it is wild like and that's the thing about like doing trips with friends like when you're going and hanging out with friends that like you genuinely are obsessed with and you can't get enough of trips never feel long enough and so I think that that's one thing that I love about this trip it just like oh, no you're good you're good it just like feels very much like home but like away from home so this has been like such a great trip and I definitely want to do more we were talking at um, the Mexican restaurant like how we need to do more trips like this just because it's like so filling and I feel so like, I don't know, my heart is so full. So these are all the books that I got, but I am going to um, show you guys the uh, other book haul whenever I get back inside, maybe like tomorrow or something like that. Maybe tomorrow morning, I'm not really sure. And I'll give you guys an update on the books that I'm reading and like what I'm enjoying so far. Also just realizing I never showed you guys these bookmarks. I got these um, from the bookstore too and they're actually handmade. You can find a lot of these on like Etsy and stuff. And this one has obviously a bear on it and then this one is um, like a tree. But what's really cool is uh, every bookmark that she creates for the bookstore, they're all different and unique and she never creates the same one twice, which I thought was so cool. But you can actually find a ton of these that are like handmade on Etsy. But this is made by Diane Hansen and she's here in uh, the Gatlinburg area. I've never really read like a true slow burn, so I don't really know if this is that or not, but this is so good. Um, it's only on page 190, so I still have like a good amount to go. By the way, my face is like a little orange because obviously I'm by the fire. Um, but I just, I love this book and I normally don't like books where the main character is kind of like, like you do what I say type of thing, but it's almost like not controlling. It's like he just cares so much about her. And like, this is the difference between like, guys in books and guys in real life because if a guy was like this in real life like that's not cute but because it's in a book like it is I don't know what why it's like like that whenever I read sometimes but so this is obviously Luca by Gray Huffington um and this is one of the few romances that has actually like made me get really interested in it since reading Into the Dark like I haven't really had a romance that's made me feel like this and this one is just so good so Again, like I'm super into the book and this isn't like a spoiler or anything, super into the book and they haven't really like had, like nothing's happened. And so I don't know if this is like a slow burn or not, but I'm on this part at 190 and she's kind of like hiding from him. Um, she's waitressing and she like doesn't, like she kind of feels like ashamed that she's like waitressing. Um, but like there's a reason why she is. And he goes, um, <laughs> He goes, be ready around seven tonight. I'm taking you out. And she goes, are you asking me or telling me? He's like, I'm telling you because I'm not giving you another chance to tell me that you aren't ready. I know you are ready at least. Ready enough at least. Knock, knock, knock. Because someone starts knocking on the door. Because I guess um, she was in the bathroom, I think. And then he went in there and he like locked himself in there with her. And says, a knock on the door put a halt to my thoughts. My eyes darted between the door and Luca. Then again, the smirk on his face told me everything I needed to know. Did you lock the door? Yeah, I didn't need any interruptions. They're going to think that we're screwing in here. I don't give a F what they think if you want to make it happen so their chatter isn't vain. We still have time. And she goes, goodbye, Luca. <laughs> like, fucks like this. It just makes me laugh. Oh, and then he says, stepping backward, he nodded seven. And she goes, seven. <sighs> this book is so good. I 
uh, guys, this, I'm really loving this one. Like really, really loving it. And this is like a 500 page book, but I'm really loving it. I kind of want to like finish it tonight, is that bad? And I'm only like almost like halfway, like not even halfway, I guess, cause it's like almost 500 pages, but it's just so freaking good. I have two books that I'm going to put over on Instagram for a little poll to see like which books um, I should start first and these are from the last video that I did um, where Bane picked my reads which was so fun um, but before I show you guys the books that I'm putting over on a poll I have to show you guys my view right now the view here is so beautiful like I cannot get over it you can see like the mountains and like everything it is just incredible. But I'm doing a poll over on Instagram um, about Higher Love, and this is by Alexandria House, and it looks really good. It's about a popular travel blogger, um, and she ends up like having some relationship problems, and then she meets this other guy who's also like having relationship issues where um, I think they like both get dumped or something like that. And um, yeah, it just looks really good. And they're like kind of trying to heal their heart while connecting at the same time. I just feel like this would be a good one. I've never read anything from Alexandria House. And then the other book that I have um, is Coach Me by Shinora Williams. And it's supposed to have like a lot of good dialogue. Um, it's also a uh, diverse college sports romance where I think the guy is a student teacher and um, the like uh, girl is a like on the track team. So I'm thinking about starting one of these. I haven't decided which one, but I left a poll over on Instagram. So make sure you guys are following me there because I feel like I share so many bookish like chats and polls and things and you can see things in real time. So it makes like things really fun. Um, but yeah, these are the books that I think I'm going to start. I'm thinking about maybe this one, but we're just going to see what the poll says. So I will report back whenever I um, see like the poll, uh, what it says, because I always trust you guys to like help pick my read. You guys are always asking when I use my candle or if I use my candle or if I like my candle. I literally use my candle every day, like kid you not. Usually when I'm eating breakfast, like I need to be hands free. So like obviously I'm holding this um, ratio, like 25 grams of protein, um, strawberry yogurt. And I can't eat this while turning the pages. But what's nice about a Kindle is I can like leave it and it'll sit like this and the pages aren't gonna close. And also whenever I need to just like um, get to the next page, I just need to like tap it. So it just makes it super easy to like, I'm holding this up on my knee, but it makes it super easy to read. Um, and I don't have to worry, the biggest thing is worry about the pages closing. And I feel like a lot of people wonder like, is a Kindle worth it? Um, and I'm gonna make a video like with an update for like this Kindle and like why I love it, but it is so worth it. So like every night I twist my hair um, or like, you know, I'll just like do something with my hair. Um, like whenever I'm getting ready for the day or like whatever, I can read while I'm doing that, which is so nice um, because again, I can just like leave this closed. Also there is um, a light, like a light that's not the same as like a computer screen light. It's kind of like a blue light almost um, and I love that because at night I can read without having my light on and I feel like it helps me just like get wound down and like relax and ready to go to sleep so I for sure 110% read this every morning when I have breakfast and I will read it um, every night as I'm like twisting my hair or um, when the lights are out and I'm reading and like Brady's sleeping next to me if I don't want to like bother him because um, I can still read without having to have a big light on and what I think I like better about this than like those little lamps I don't know if you guys have seen those little like um, lights that kind of stick over a book what I like about this is I can actually make the brightness higher or lower so I don't know if you can even see that on the screen but you can just like toggle a little um, like thing on the um, Kindle and make like the brightness like super super low or super high and you can't do that with like a little reading light so i don't know there's a lot of things about a kindle that i really like also it barely like needs to be charged like this has the longest battery life of any kindle and a lot of you guys have also asked if i use the um like annotation feature and i feel like i don't use this nearly as much as other people would um but i do use it and i feel like it's nice because i am not someone who annotates a lot, like at all. Like I just don't do it. And I think it's because whenever I sit down, I'm like, 
okay, if I see something in a book, like, oh, I need to go find a pen, I need to go find a sticky note, I need to go find a highlighter, I need to find like whatever. And so by the time that I think about like going to find it, I'm like, oh, I'll just skip to the next page. But this makes it easy because like the pin sticks on the side of the Kindle. So it's like super easy to just like highlight um, or just like annotate things and like draw things, write things. So I don't know, I love it. I also really love, which I guess I'm saying like a lot of stuff that's gonna be in the video, but I am gonna go more in depth in the video. Um, but what I love about this is the page size is actually super similar to a regular page size. So sometimes people on Kindles will be like, oh, like, the book is this many pages uh, but this like the page count is almost exact to a paperback book or a hardback book um, because the screen is freaking huge like you can see it's like as big as my head um, it also doesn't make it hard to carry at all like i think i get that question a lot where people are like oh do you carry it with you like is it hard to carry and it's not hard to carry at all mostly because i carry big bags um like that puffy bag that i have it fits in there um it fits in literally any tote that i have uh, so I don't really have to worry about it like not fitting um, and it's not like crazy heavy or anything It's probably heavier than a paper white um, But it's not like like uncomfortably heavy if that makes sense So I don't know there's a ton of great things about it and I'll share more in like the video coming up I'm gonna do like a update on the Kindle and how I feel about it and stuff, but it's definitely worth it I just feel like I don't really show this in vlogs as much because one I don't really show me eating breakfast um, like really ever in vlogs because like that's my time and Obviously you guys are seeing it here because it's like later than usual and then I also don't really show me reading at night before bed um, Because like I'm twisting my hair and like I have like my products all out and stuff So I usually am showing you guys like reading on lunch reading after work um Sometimes I'll show you guys like reading um, at 5 a.m. Um, but the other times I don't really show you. So anyway, um, that's a little update on my Kindle, but I'm really, really loving it. And I literally use it every single day. Oh, and this is a Kindle scribe, if you didn't know. Um, I'm reading Done and Dusted. I'm only on page like 22, so I'm not like super far or anything. But um, again, it, I love it. And I feel like so many of you guys have asked, is a scribe worth it? It is so worth it. Outside. and guys this view is literally wild like we came out here last year and I just can't get over like how incredible nature is let me show you guys this is the view there's a little trail like that you can walk down down here it is absolutely beautiful it's at the Great Smoky Mountains Nas National Park you can see it a little bit better when the exposure is down but look at how incredible it is and then like you can walk over here so the what this stop is I'm gonna show you guys the stop in case you guys want to come up it's at the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and the stop is the Ben Morton Overlook now if you type in this to your maps it will not take you here so you have to type in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park or the Great Smoky Smoky Mountains Scenic Overlook, and it'll take you to like just drive up, and then you can just drive up to this area, and that's the sign. And you can like walk down here, and it's just so pretty. How's it feel to be out in nature, Alexis? Oh, I'm ready. You know me. 
<laughs> well, when we were driving up, we were listening to like Zach Bryan, and I oh, was like, I was saying in my yeah, part. like I love that vibe. I feel like the vibe of like Zach Bryan, mm, like Noah, oh. what's his name, Noah Khan, like seem like a, I don't know, it makes you feel so good. Yes, yeah, yeah, like yeah. one of the girls is like, this is like where I feel God, like it's mm. so beautiful out here, like yeah, I don't yeah, know. yeah, I know. I felt we were like yes, we were all feeling it. I, but yes. I feel like you're really good at curating those moments. Aww. For us, I feel like every trip I've had a moment like that where that you've created for us just a let us be in those moments. So I'm like, I love it. Guys, she's so intentional. I can't. I know. Look at me getting all deep. I'm like, I need to turn on like the violins or something. I'm like, how do you feel? And you're like, how do I feel? So actually, you know, thank you that you asked. No, I love that. But also, we're already talking about doing another trip because oh yeah, no, of course, of course, yeah, we need to. Yeah, our trips though, you guys. I know, literally. I was. I think I was saying um when I first walked in, I was like, we've been like us have been on like eight or nine trips or something within the last like what it's gonna be two years i think is it In two April, years april it's gonna yeah be two years. that's crazy that's crazy <laughs> like that's, that's a crazy. lot of trips yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's insane but i love it though me too i like makes, see i feel like the trips we go on are also very like chill oh, too. Yeah, yeah. like they're Which nothing too crazy like yeah, yeah. look at this view it is wild and we get to like experience it and like just hang out here yeah. there's also like a nature trail over there should we should oh they're already yeah, going to go. walk we should go walk yeah. Oh, the snow out here is wild to me because it is so warm like down or uh yeah down the mountain it's so much uh obviously colder up here and I was telling them before we came I was like make sure you dress really warm because it gets so cold and uh it definitely does I am just like so grateful for nature I don't know like I don't know how we take it for granted. I feel like whenever I'm on trips like this, I just feel so grateful to be alive. And I was telling the other girls, I was like, I feel like whenever I'm outside in nature, like, and look at the mountains and like trees and stuff, like nothing matters. Like there's no way that I can be out here looking at these mountains and thinking like, like that anything matters. <laughs> Especially like, I feel like the mountains make me feel so small and like that's how I want to feel, you know? Literally just almost sliding down the mountain. Um, but that's how I want to feel. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> but that's how I want to feel, you know? I want to feel small, like nothing matters, like, you know, that nothing's really that serious. And I think the bigger the mountain, the smaller my problems feel, the smaller, like, crazy things feel. They just feel like they don't matter. Like, I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody, but I might just sit on this little log and like read a little bit. Oh, I'm just hanging out here because it's so pretty. I'm driving, you're smiling, just really doing nothing. That's the thing I like about you. Mm. On the highway, it's our way, Route 66, and we keep on driving. We just do what we want to do. We just got up to our final view of the day and it is so pretty. Like, I can't get out over nature. Like, I don't know if I'm just like weird like that, but there's just something about nature that makes me immediately feel calm. And this is why I try to get outside every day and why I try to like encourage you guys to do the same because I feel like I always just feel better when I'm like outside in nature. Um, I brought Done and Dusted out with me today and I uh, brought it because I was like, I have to bring a book in nature always and I've been like loving it so far so I decided to bring it out here and I'm like you know what I'm just gonna like read for a little bit and I probably won't have a ton of time to do that but I feel like sitting outside reading listening to music just like all the vibes gets me in a good mood and like how can I not read this book while it's like literally I'm in a mountain area like look at this view is this not giving freaking done and dusted to you like it is gorgeous hey playing songs on the radio sing along to the words that we don't know how brings out the problems let's just run away yeah i could drive the whole and all being with you is that being on the road your house brings out the problems i got a little crush on you i just got home and i wanted to show you guys the package that i ended up getting and i feel like i know what it is because the front Guys, it says how many loves do you get in a lifetime? Y'all know what this is. Like, 
I am so excited to open this up. We had so much fun um, like being out in nature and it feels good to be home. We're gonna make like pasta and stuff together. I had to open this with you guys because I am so excited. Oh my God. Oh my God, I can literally cartwheel right now. I'm shook. Oh my gosh. It says it's finally here. Thank you for accepting a copy of book five in the sensational Magnolia Parks universe. I hope Magnolia Parks Into the Dark on sale February 13th, 2024 is everything you've been dreaming of while patiently waiting its arrival. How many loves do you actually get in a lifetime? Everyone knows by now that Magnolia and BJ are in the stars, but is that enough? Magnolia and BJ are reeling from a devastating loss as they try to plan what's been dubbed the wedding of the century. As family tensions mount and their respective pasts begin catching up to them, they finally have to look the truth in the eye. Can they learn to trust and be with one another again or will they die trying? Oh my gosh, and this is from Dutton Books. Oh, I'm shook. So the back, I kind of already read it. Um, it stops at, uh, I said, uh, whoa, I literally can't even think right now. It says, uh, they plan what's been dubbed the wedding of the century. Uh, things aren't, aren't going all that well for BJ either. Desperate to prove he's no longer the man who hurt Magnolia through their long years apart, BJ fights an uphill battle as he tries to bring the relationship into a healthy place. But with mounting secrets between them and their past finally coming to a head, there's only so much a relationship can handle. And then it says, as Magnolia and BJ's love story hurdles to its inevitable dramatic conclusion, these two will finally learn whether they'll actually be together forever or die trying. Guys, I want to read this book again. I want to read this book again. I literally, guys, I haven't actually seen the back of the cover because my other book that Brady got doesn't have like the back part. And then this is gold. <gasps> literally, Magnolia Parks Into the Dark, Jessa Hastings. I'm so shook. It's $18 USA and $24.95 for Canada. And then they gave these stickers. Um, it says Parks, Valentine, it has Bumblebee. Oh my God, there's so many cute little uh, hates, a hymns, and how's the weather part sticker. There's shoes. There's like so many cute little things that literally have to do with the characters and stuff. And this book is 708 pages. You guys know that I literally sobbed reading this book. Like six star read for me. I got this arc. Um, because my husband knows how much I love the series and he knew that this would like make my Christmas so he got it for me for Christmas before they were even giving out arcs so the back of the book that I own literally does not even have like a back cover and it doesn't have a side binding because they just bound it together for me and then in the inside cover um, of mine it actually is signed by Mag uh, by Magnolia signed by Jesse Hastings <laughs> I am so excited. Guys, reading this also feels like poetry. Um, like on the front, it says, to anyone whom the more stingy parts of this book resonate with, anyone who's grieved or is grieving or has lost or is losing, anyone who worries about the black empty nothingness, everything is going to be okay. Okay? I just, I love this series so much. I literally want to read this again. I can't wait to like just dive into this series again. Like I want to read it again. Comment below if you guys think I should read it again. Like I literally just finished it, but nothing has compared to this book. This is like transcends five star. And I've never said that out about anything. And you guys know, like I don't have a ton of five stars. Like I can probably count, count them all on like two hands. And this was literally transcending even those. So pick this up. This is obviously the newest book, so you definitely wanna read them in order. Um, but once you get to this book, it's so worth it. And I also feel like it's very rare that I'll read a 700 page book and I'm like, okay, they could have like cut this out or cut that out. This needed to be 700 pages. It really needed to be more than that because I love the series that much, but if it can only be 700 pages, I'm fine with that. But if she did another 700 pages on top of this and it was like 1400 pages, I would have gobbled that up too. So <laughs> this series is so good. I just, I'm trying to see if I, I don't have anything like underlined obviously in this one, but I want to kind of go back through and like annotate them because they're just so, like the quotes in these, everything is just so good. Like, oh, oh my God, I'm reading this again. It's just like making me happy. Oh my gosh. 
is there just do you ever just read a book that like you just feel home like when you read the book like these these characters this series they just feel like home to me i don't know what it is i just everything about it and i don't want to spoil anything so i don't want to read anything but <sighs> i love these characters so freaking much and i cannot believe that i'm not going to get another book until like maybe later the next year. Like I don't even know what she's coming out with the next Daisy Hates because this is like the final book in the Magnolia Parks like section. Cause she does like Magnolia Parks. She'll do like Magnolia Parks and then Daisy Hates and then another Magnolia Parks and then another Daisy Hates book. But what's cool is that Magnolia Parks, like the first book that comes out and then Daisy Hates comes out, they're both set in the same timeline. So if there's like a gala that happens and like Mal Magnolia goes to the gala in the first book, Daisy Hates is also gonna go to that same gala and it's gonna be the exact same timeline. So you kind of get the same timeline from different viewpoints. It's really interesting and I feel like you will really love the book. But anyway, that's my haul for um, this uh, video because I told you guys I had a little haul. I literally sat down on the floor and started going through these like quotes. Like I actually spent probably 30 minutes last night just telling the group like how good this series was. And I was like, you guys gotta read it. If anything, like if anything I recommend, recommend at least read one book. And if you don't like it, that's fine. Like not everyone loves the series and that's fine. But like Jessa Hastings writing is like no other, but also because it's like no other, the characters feel real. And one thing Jessa Hastings says that I love, and I feel like I've said this a million times, is she always says, that like, like people will be like, oh, it's like a toxic romance. Like I don't want to read the books because they're toxic romance. And she's like, it's not a toxic romance. Like it's a real romance. Like they're real people who are flawed. Like they are not perfect. And I feel like a lot of the time in romances we see like perfection. Um, and I love how she made everyone, like every character is so flawed. I literally just, I sat down on the floor and started looking through all the quotes because I was like okay I want to like look through some of these quotes and like remember how I felt when I read them which I feel like makes me realize that I want to read the series all over again ah uh, I just love it so much uh I just love it so much oh my god I can't stop saying how much I love this series so breaking much and I definitely want to get the rest of the series to match um because I only have like into the dark in this copy and I don't have like the other uh books to match but then again I'm kind of like okay am I gonna read those books again if I read it again or am I gonna read the old original copy like I don't really know so I don't know, I do love this because I feel like it really gives like throwback vibes because obviously Brady got this for me and this is the cover of the book that he got me but also I want the um, like original cover too. We're ready to eat and we have Twilight on the screen. We're gonna watch a little bit later. I've been watching uh, Joyce's channel. I don't know if you guys have seen her channel before, but her videos are so good. I don't know if I, you can even uh, see that, but anyway, I watch her channel all the time. She's so fun, and I always love like sharing other um, black creators, and especially if they're like have smaller like accounts, but I feel like they need to be hyped up way more. She just is such a joy. She also goes to the library a lot. Anyway, I've been watching her um, channel and she was sharing like how she, um, she was like, I went to the bookstore and then I like went to the hospital, um, which was like, I was kind of out of the blue and she was like, I had like a little rash thing. And it was really making me think about how I really struggle to like open up just like to anyone. And that's something I really want to work on this year. And I think I've been thinking about that a lot because last night, I mean, honestly, this entire trip, we have been, like the girls and I have been so like, had so many good conversations, like opening up about all kinds of things, like talking about things. And I think a part of me, y'all, I need to be back while I'm talking. Um, but I think a part of me 
doesn't want to open up because I almost feel as if like someone's gonna hold it against me or like maybe I'll share something with someone and then years down the line we won't be friends anymore like I just have this like toxic view of like I don't know sharing and like opening myself up to people in general like even some of my closest friends that I've had for years don't know like some of the hardships that I've like went through and I was just like listening to Kalila share her life story and Lynette share her life story and like Jordan and Alexis and like just how they were openly sharing their lives and I don't know I feel like it really inspired me because I do not do that like at all um and I like this last year I've been down bad like I was really struggling in high school and college and I think I've been very open about that but not really like as much as I probably could be but open enough to hopefully help someone feel like less alone just sharing how I really went through like a really sad period in my life and I think part of it was like I didn't know what I wanted to do um I was in my 20s in college and just like I mean, I was failing out of school and then I ended up failing out and then I got back in and then I was like, wait, why am I back in? Because I don't even want to do like what my degree is. Like, I just didn't really know what I wanted to do in life. And that made me feel really sad because I felt like all my friends knew what they wanted to do. But then I also was trying to work through some trauma that I've had um, since I was like younger. And so there's that. And then in high school, I feel like I was, um, really struggling because I struggled a lot with friends. I think you guys know I was like homeschooled actually in high school. I love being homeschooled, like would recommend it to anyone. And I was super involved in stuff. I went to prom, I went to homecoming, I went to like all the things. But I think that being homeschooled, I felt isolated because I wasn't like in the school setting. So like my friends would have like inside jokes and stuff and like obviously I wasn't part of those things. So I really struggled to feel like I belonged. Um, and I think I shared on the podcast, if you guys don't know I have a podcast, but I shared on the podcast how one time um, these two girls that were like my best friends, they three-way me on a call. <laughs> It was literally giving Mean Girls vibes. Sorry, I'm scooting cl closer because I'm like, I'm so far away. Um, it was literally giving Mean Girls vibes because they threw away me on a call and one of the girls was like, so what do you think of so-and-so? And I was like, oh, I think she's like fine. And she was like, oh, you think she's like fine? Like, do you like her? Or like, I was like, oh, I mean, like, I, yeah, like we're friends. And then she was like, oh, like, just kind of like trying to like fish. And then I found out that the other girl was literally on the phone. Um, and she was like trying to get me to like say something about her. Granted, I think that was like right after Mean Girls came out. So like literally, I think they were like taking after Mean Girls. And we would like call ourselves like some of the Mean Girls names. Like they would be like, you're Regina. And I'm like, I'm literally the nicest person in the group. Why are you making me this like terrible person? Like this other person who's in the group should be Regina. But anyway, I feel like I really struggled in high school a lot, just like feeling like I belong, feeling left out, also working through, again, trauma that I still am working through just like as an adult, uh, just like things that I feel like, you know, we all have our own traumas, um, some more than others. And I don't know, I feel like this weekend has really inspired me to open up more and like share with you guys more. Obviously my dad passed away this year and my mom moved and I feel like it is all compiled to a point where when I came to this trip, I was just like, I've been so down bad. Like I just finished my laundry and I had probably like 60 loads or like 30 to 60 loads of laundry I had not finished. And like Brady was holding it down, y'all. Like at one point I went to the gym and I was like, Brady, I don't even have any clean clothes. Like I don't even have any, not clean clothes, but like clean like workout clothes. And he was like, oh, like I just threw in a load of like your workout clothes. I'm like, you're a literal saint. And I don't think we talk enough about like just how hard life can be and how when life is hard, it's hard to like just continue to function the way that you had before. Like I still went to the gym, I still was going to work, but I just was like really struggling. And now I feel like I'm kind of coming out of it. Like I'm kind of putting my head above water just barely. And I think trips like this make me feel so rejuvenated and so like, just so freaking good and less alone and realize that other people have things that they're going through. I was talking about this last night and I was just like, I went through something so deeply traumatic. Y'all, I, I did not expect to like share this in this video, but I think talking about it last night with everyone has just made me feel like 
why do not we not share these things because we're all going through things that are so deeply like just like hard and we all just like pretend like we're i wouldn't say pretend but we all just like go through the motions and like don't share them so then we all feel we're continuing to feel alone i love sharing how i am finding the joy in life and i also love sharing like how i've gotten out of those feelings but i feel like when i'm in it i for one can't share it because i'm like in the trenches but then when i come out of that feeling i almost don't want to share it because it's so traumatic to like talk about that feeling and like going back there like my throat you know gets tight my ears feel like you know i'm underwater and like i start getting emotional but then I realized last night as we're all sitting around talking, like, why don't we open up more? Like, why don't we, like, we all have things that we're going through. And like all the girls, like last night, everyone was talking about all the things that they've like worked through and stuff. And I never would have known by looking at them. Like I never would have known that like every single person has a story that's like deeper than like surface level. And we're all just trying to make it. And I guess I just say that to say that like you are not alone in whatever you're going through. Like I promise you there's someone out there who is struggling in the same exact way that you are. So I don't know, I just want, I guess I wanted to share because last night as we were sharing and opening up, it made me realize how often we don't share. And it also made me realize that there are other people going through things that I know nothing about. And if we all were more open and transparent with our struggles, I think we'd all feel less alone. But I think it feels awkward, like even sharing now, like part of me is like, I don't wanna like post this. Like I want to like delete this and then just like make a new video and be like, all right, I'm packing. Like I'm gonna go home. This was such a great trip. I had the best time. We opened up to each other. We talked a lot. Like there were a lot of emotions. It was beautiful. Can't wait for the next trip. See you in the next one. Like that is what I want to share. And I think I'm sharing more because I feel like in 2024, I just wanna make a point to share more. And I hope that all of you guys are like, I mean, I, I feel like you guys are all friends of mine, but I hope that you will see my intention just behind everything. And I also think that that's a fear of mine, like that I'm gonna share something and someone's gonna get the impression or they're gonna judge me or they're going to, I don't know what it is. I mean, people can just be mean in general, but people can also be mean on the internet. They don't understand you or know you well, but I feel like we're all friends here, you know? Um, I don't know if this is gonna close. I feel like I, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> guys, does anyone else do this? Like, these packets, like, why did I bring so much for this week? But anyway, I want this space to be a space where you can come to see the good, you can also come to see the hard, and you can come to see how to get through the hard. You can come and see that you're not alone in the hard, and you can come. I get a bit of positivity and so many of you guys are like you're my comfort creator and I want to always be that I want this to just feel like we're talking on FaceTime and we're just hanging out we're all just besties and like I don't know maybe one day we'll have a meetup I think that would be like the greatest thing in the world but I don't want this to be a place that feels superficial or that feels um surface level or that feels um not like a true version of myself or my life so i don't know here's to that and here's to 2024 and here's more trips like this and here's to opening up more and here's to um just like connecting with you guys more and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i feel like this one was a really fun one for me because this is my first trip of the year with friends um first big group trip and it's always the first big group trip but this trip in particular I think was one of my favorite trips to the Smoky Mountains because the group is just incredible. Comment below if you maybe are going through something, if you're working through something, if you want to cheer me on, if you want to do a trip like this, if you um, are loving the books that I read in this video, comment below what you're reading. Like I want this to continue to be a very close-knit community and I want like I share on the podcast I feel like in a very vulnerable way um, probably most vulnerable than any other platform maybe because it's just like me talking into a mic but I want this space to be like that as well I think sometimes I just um, 
struggle to share because it is scary and like looking at the camera I'm like I know that someone's going to watch this video um and there's more of you guys here than on the podcast so like it's just I don't know it's scary like opening up is scary and like I just hopped into my 30s and I don't know what I'm doing but I feel like I'm trying I feel like I'm doing the best that I can I think that's all that we can um that's all that we can hope for I also really um really love my life and I think sometimes because I love my life and love so many aspects of it I feel like I shouldn't ever share the hard because it almost feels like I'm complaining and that's just like that's not true like I need to tell myself like that is literally not true um and I also don't cry often so that's why I was like very surprised that I got emotional but anyway I think I've pretty much closed this there's like a little teeny tiny part that's not closed yet but I think I can close it if I sit on it um oh it's going yeah I hope I don't bust this I love these bags these are uh, the Bays bags and I swear these are like the best suitcases um, I recommend these to everyone they are pricey but they hold so so much and they're such great quality but I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I hope that this gave you a better view into who I am what I want this community to be you guys know I'm obsessed with books and will forever be obsessed with books I've loved books since I was like a little girl um, and you know I love diverse reads you know I love reading indie books um, by authors who like aren't published traditionally like and there aren't in barns and stuff and you know that I love community and I love friendship and that's like what I really try to get across like on TikTok and Instagram and y'all I literally just started this I was talking to someone the other day about how I started my channel I was like I started this channel in 2018 because I wanted to like give people tips on how to plan a wedding and it is wild that it is what it is now so I feel very grateful for you guys and I feel so loved by you guys always which I guess it's just a testament to how comfortable I feel opening up with you guys and like will hopefully help you feel less alone in whatever you're going through because I promise you you're not the only one like you're not the only one and if you're down bad right now give yourself some time it is okay to feel broken and it is okay to not be healed because one day you will be and you'll look back on that time and be like dang like I made it through that um and I'm hoping that for you hoping that for you really soon so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um we definitely want to do more things in the future I feel like this trip was like life-changing and I feel so grateful um so yeah I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys